UC boy Kareem Coleman. Uh, last week against Plano West, I had five catches for 133 yards and a long punt return. Hey, when you ball out, you get to talk with KJ. Kendrick Johnson coming to you once again. This time we have McKinney Boyd for our first ever visit here. We've been to North, we've been to McKinney High. Thanks to this man, Kareem Coleman, had four catches, 130 yards, one tub, and the longest punt return. I don't know if you know that. 63 yards, longest punt return in boy history. Congrats for balling against Plano West. Thank you. Get some insight to that game, man, because it seemed like you got in the flow and they kept going at you one-on-one. -on -one. You kept making them look silly. Yeah, um, from the start, I kind of like had to get mentally prepared, get the team mentally prepared. Me and Colin had a couple of talks, um, game plan-wise, talk to the other receivers, see some things that they'd like, talk to Coach Beto, see some more game plans. And uh, when we went out there, we just did our thing. How was it the momentum that you got? He had a big game. He had three catches and 150 yards against James with two touchdowns, right? How much did that momentum carry over this week? I know y'all had to buy, but it's like you just picked up. You ain't called and picked up when y'all left off. Is that safe to say? Yeah. Um, after that game, I just knew, like, our chemistry got better, and uh, we were just making good plays, um, good audibles, and just doing our thing. So I I'm a DB. I come up on you one-on-one. -on -one. I'm trying to check you. What are you thinking? What's going through your head? Um, well, when like if someone gets in front of me, I'm thinking uh, I gotta do the stuff that Coach Beto taught me. Get his hands off me, he puts his hands. Try to use my speed to my best ability and go make a play. When you see bad coverage, what do you think? Are you laughing at these guys? They they keep banding up on you, and I, I see your huddle highlights. I just keep seeing four going back and forth. <laughs> they boom. Is that is that like you like really when they come up to you one on one? Do you like think that's laughable? Knowing uh, that they, they can't check you. I would uh, I wouldn't say laughable. It's just like. You gotta be mentally prepared for whatever's gonna happen, and just make a better person win. How you find a DB that can that can check you? Did y'all play one on one uh, without safety help? Not yet, but uh, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see about this Prosper game. Speaking of Prosper, how big it is y'all start off? You admit, 0-4, not good. Part of the fact that y'all got two wins in a row, you beat Prosper, you have a foot into the playoffs. How big is that, despite the, the crazy start, that y'all can be right where y'all want to be and in this playoff drought that's been here at Boyd all in one and by getting together at the right time and building on what y'all and Coach Drake them preach every week, getting better each week, being consistent. How's it good to see that happen? Um, it, that'd be great to see that happen. Like, we go ball out in practice, uh, make each other better, and if that happens, we go to the playoffs after this. After, if we take this win, uh, that'd be great because that'd be my first year in the playoffs, and I'd like that. <laughs> Look at this camera. Tell these people where is your confidence level at that you keep balling every week and going by these DBs and hitting the end zone. Uh, my confidence is going up. Like when I when I'm in the end zone, I like it. Like I gotta keep going. And here's some insight to a special team threat. Like, I seen you run, but last week, you zigzagged, and that's like you were at the 40, and you saw that punt, and you already knew what time it was then. Yeah. Uh, special teams, uh, I got to thank Coach Lawrence, and he's going make me better. Coach Johnson, they've been telling me. Like, they just put me on a punt return uh, last game. We've been working on some things, and ever since then, I've just been ready to Working for my opportunity. How you stay focused? Like now, you got people like me coming and talking to you that want to talk to you again and again. How you what is your confidence about now? Um, well, I've been getting focused, and other than that, I just try and get mentally prepared. So what y'all got to do to keep this going? Um, got two down, got three to go, got Allen still, got the big cross down showdown rivalry. What's y'all mentality at? Uh, we can't get humble. We, we know we have two wins in a row, but we just got to keep going. So tell these people, what happens when you ball on Friday nights? Talk with KJ.